Hello and thank you for listening. My name is James Schofield, founder and minister of James Schofield Ministries and the host of the James Schofield Ministries podcast. So for this episode, I wanted to go over um, our crosses that we have to bear. How we always have, uh, we have these sayings where anytime we have a burden um, that that seems like a uh, something that's really inconvenient we say oh it's just my cross to bear you know like oh you know you you gotta drive all that way to go do this yeah it's just my cross to bear I guess and we've kind of lost sight over really what cross we do have to bear and that is um, our personal cross that we take up when we uh, take on the mantle of becoming believers in Jesus and kind of want to go over um, Jesus's journey and what he had to do and I uh, really just wanted to dive right in and and there's there there's a lot of supporting scripture around uh, us having to bear a cross but at the end of the day God knows that bearing the cross is for us humans a nearly impossible task and so God gives us a way to be able to cast our burdens on him and in having Jesus take this trip uh, carrying that cross it was a symbol of him being willing to carry our cross our burdens our sins through uh, the sacrifice so that way we can cast our burdens on him and so you know I say right away that that we can cast these burdens on on Jesus but there's a lot of scripture around us carrying the cross as well Uh, in Matthew uh, chapter 16 verse 24 uh, Jesus is uh, talking to his disciples Uh, then Jesus said to his disciples if anyone wants to follow after me let him deny himself take up his cross and follow me and he gets a little um even before then he kind of goes a little bit uh, further into that in Matthew chapter 10 verse 38 he says and whoever doesn't take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me so right there if we're not willing to carry our cross and follow Jesus we're not worthy of him now I say earlier that that carrying that cross is a nearly impossible task and it's something that God understands that it's a nearly impossible task and he wants us to be able to carry that burden um, but at the same time when it gets to be a little too heavy he wants us to be able to cast it on him and so it yeah, goes throughout the entire Bible in the Old Testament in the New Testament there's several examples about that burden being able to be cast onto God uh, in the Psalms, which a lot of the Psalms were written by David, um, and then there was a few that were unknown authors and different muses, and so uh, the Psalms were written uh, kind of as a way. There's a few different ways to to look at the Psalms. Uh, some of them have to do uh, their songs. Some of them have to do with um, lamenting. Uh, some of them have to do with praising. And uh, some of them have to do simply with uh, instructions. Um, They're almost like a a singing version of the Proverbs. And in Psalm 55, uh, verse 22, it says, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Isaiah, which is uh, a book that if you read uh, really uh, has so many little kernels in it that um, end up becoming fulfilled in the New Testament so it's it's a great book uh, to read as kind of a precursor uh, to Jesus coming 
And in Isaiah uh, uh, 40, chapter 41, verse 10, it says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. So, uh, in the Old Testament, there's this um, there's this uh, system of where God basically, you know, um, I, I did cover a blog post about how God wants you to work for it, and the things that you want, you need to ask God to help you get. Not necessarily that God will get it for you, but you need to ask God for the help getting it yourself. And when I, so when I talk about these burdens and these crosses to bear, uh, in the Old Testament, it kind of goes along that where it's like, look, you're going to have things that are hard to deal with. You're going to have crosses that are just a little too heavy to bear. And God understands that. God understands that even though you're putting in the work, you might need just that extra little bit of help. So right there it shows God will strengthen you. When you're having that cross that's too heavy to bear, God is going to strengthen you and he's going to help you with that cross. And it goes uh, also Jesus says something similar in uh, Matthew uh, chapter 11 verses 28 through 30 he says come to me all of you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest take up my yoke and learn from me because I am lowly and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, do you hear at the end, he says his burden is light. This is the man who's going to be literally pulling a ginormous, heavy wooden cross that he will be crucified on. He knows this is coming. And he says that we can come to him when we're weary and burdened and he will give us rest because his burden is light and the trend of the burden being able to be uh, shared with God it's not even just with God uh, Jesus by saying that his burden is light and that we can come to him and he'll give us rest it isn't just him that we can lay our burdens with we can share burdens between one another and it's kind of um something that gets shown in the bible even with jesus during his journey uh with that cross uh, you know, there are times where Jesus is taking that cross and he just, he heaps, you know, he stumbles. I mean, again, this is something, try imagining grabbing a ginormous log and walking down a street with that log and you're the only one carrying it. And I'm not talking like the log that you just throw on a fire. I'm talking you literally chop down a tree and you're carrying almost that tree you're gonna stumble it just happens so we get an example of how the burden can sometimes get a little too heavy and how in creating this community that we all should be creating we kind of covered um uh, commun we kind of I, I kind of cover community uh, here and there throughout the podcast episodes and we talked about it uh in the previous episode when we were talking about uh, uh, holiday Christians and how Christians who just come to church during the holidays are still part of our community of Christ and we need to uh, act accordingly. And so when Jesus is having this tough time and he's stumbling and he's not able to carry, keep going with this cross, uh, the Romans end up grabbing somebody from the crowd and making him help Jesus carry that cross and it was in um, Matthew well it's it's in actually uh, covered throughout uh, the Gospels but I just picked the one out of Matthew because uh, it, it it's just 
the easiest one really to go over. Um, they all kind of say a similar thing, but I just, I personally like the way that this one said it. And, and again, kind of going into the Bible theory in a way as well, whenever there's a repeated thing that's happening in the Bible, that's something you need to kind of pay close attention to. Um, you know, it's something that uh, really needs to be driven home. I mean, obviously everything in the Bible is super important, but whenever it gets repeated, you have to remember that the Gospels were written by four different people. And so when they're all saying the same thing, when they're all witnessing the same thing, and when the same thing is being almost word for word sometimes being said, that's something you have to spend a little extra time and pay a little extra more attention to because that's something that's really going to really drive home what being a Christian is all about. And so in Matthew chapter 27, verse 32, it says, As they went out, they came upon a man um, from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. So obviously compelled, uh, some of them say forced, uh, you know, whether or not Simon was uh, forced to help Jesus, he was chosen for a reason. And it was a symbol to show that whenever we do have these burdens, uh, it's important that we as a community need to be able to uh, help lift that burden up for that person and really help them carry that burden along. And this is somebody who was not a was not a Christ follower. He was just somebody, and some of them just say he just happened to be, you know, passing by, and the Romans grabbed him and had him help Jesus. Now, whether again, whether or not this was his choice or not is, is something that um, you know can be debated. But at the end of the day, this is somebody who wasn't even a Christ follower and still helped Christ carry that cross and I think that's another thing that kind of speaks to it where us as Christians we also have the oh, some of us can also have this viewpoint where you know the only way to help somebody is if they accept Jesus and yes it is super important for everybody to accept Jesus I firmly believe that we need as Christ followers to evangelize and to uh, get people to want to follow Christ. But the thing is, is evangelism should not be going door to door and saying, have you heard the good news? Evangelism should be done through actions. And right here, Simon carrying that cross is a clear action of helping Jesus carry that burden. And we as Christ followers should be returning the favor. And think about this, you know, it they have uh, in, in the Bible, it also talks for eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And that, of course, that has to do with uh, in the Old Testament when, you know, somebody was wronged, you know, they were punished uh, accordingly. But it goes also with good deeds. And we need, you know, that whole pay it forward kind of thing by Simon helping Jesus, Simon not being a Christ follower, helping Jesus. It creates in all of us a pay it forward time. It's a permanent in history pay it forward moment for all Christ followers now that we should be doing the same for people who might not necessarily be Christ followers. And the thing is is that is how we should be evangelizing anyway is through these actions. Through people who are not Christ followers, we see a burden that they have, we help them carry that burden. Galatians uh the, the letter to Galatia also was telling this church as well uh, about carrying each other's burdens in Galatians uh, chapter two verse or I'm sorry in Galatians chapter six verse two it says carry one another's burdens in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ so again we you know, we may have these burdens and we may see other people with burdens as well. And part of taking up our cross is not necessarily us carrying that cross ourselves the whole way. It has to do also with us when we're struggling, 
asking God for that help. And God will help us carry that cross as well. We can lay that cross at the foot of Jesus. We can lay those burdens at the foot of the cross. And sometimes as well, we can get help from others around us to carry that burden. And as well, we need to be paying that forward and we need to be the ones to help others carry that burden, even if they're not a Christ follower at that time. Because, again, looking back on the story of Simon, Simon carried Jesus' cross with him. Simon, a not Christ follower, helped Christ carry that burden. And we need to remember that anytime we encounter anybody struggling, that it doesn't matter if they're a Christian, it doesn't matter if they're Jewish, if they're Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, atheist, doesn't matter. We should be helping them carry that burden. Peter writes a letter as well, and he um, talks about uh, leaving things with God as well. And it's in 1 Peter uh, chapter 5, verses 6 through 7. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your cares on him, because he cares about you. So, right here we're talking about humbling ourselves as well. We need to understand that when we have these burdens and we always say, oh, it's my cross to bear, you have to understand that we have to humble ourselves and we have to realize that yes, we do have crosses to bear, we do have these burdens, but it's okay to ask for help. It's okay for us to not be able to carry that burden the whole way. It's okay for that we can humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt us at the proper time. During that, we cast all of our cares on him. So even though we have these burdens, again, we have to go right back to what Jesus did for us in order to be able to cast that burden down and we can leave that burden with God, because God gives us these burdens for us to be stronger, but at the end, but as well, He understands and He knows that we might not be able to carry that burden on our own, and we shouldn't have to. We should be able to cast that burden with others and with God. So the next time you're kind of feeling like things are getting a little overwhelming, things are getting a little too burdensome, that cross is just a little too heavy, think back and remember Simon who picked up the cross with Jesus and helped him along his way. And that God is giving us that same opportunity that we can do. We can leave that cross with God and God will help us carry that burden just a little bit farther and when we're in a place where we are carrying our cross and we're strong and we see somebody who happens to have that burden even if they're not a Christ follower we need to remember that we also have to help pick up that cross just as Simon who wasn't a Christ follower picked up Christ's cross and carried it with him. I want to thank you for listening to this episode. I know it was a little bit short. I'm actually doing this one after uh, Vibe Night uh, that we did at the church, which which was absolutely, positively magical. And it's just amazing to be able to see. This is kind of a side note, but it was amazing to see uh, just what God is doing in, in these teenagers and how God is able to move through all the volunteers and, and the pastor who, who, uh, organized everything. I mean, he's, he's amazing. His name, his name is rich. He's an amazing, amazing guy. Uh, he, he, he really loves these kids and he really, really does a tremendous job helping to get, um, God into their hearts and help, 
uh, help us as even volunteers pour ourselves and let God move through us to pour into these kids. And so, you know, again, this episode is a little bit short because of that. I'm coming off of that, uh, that that high is kind of coming down and uh so but i wanted to make sure to get this episode out so that way that way everybody can listen uh we're gonna be i'm gonna be coming back again on saturday uh every saturday from now on uh giving you a message and if you do like what you're hearing make sure to go on to whatever podcast listening platform you enjoy and subscribe uh you can definitely uh, give us a like uh, if you do like what you hear, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen. Uh, if you really like what you're listening to and you want to help support uh, the podcast and help uh, improve by getting better equipment, more resources, you know, generally whatever the podcast can use, you can go right on to anchor.fm slash Schofield Ministries. And on there, there's going to be a button and you just click it. It's to become a monthly subscriber or sorry, a monthly supporter. And even a dollar a month would make a big difference. Again, I thank you so much for listening. I hope that you'll enjoy the next episode on Saturday. Make sure to share this out. Talk about it with people. Get a conversation going. Send the conversation to me. You can email me at podcast at schoolfieldministries.org or go right on to schoolfieldministries.org. Click podcast. And at the bottom, there's a way to uh, put in your comments. Again, thank you so much for listening. And I really look forward to being able to give you another message next week.